square plus 40 Q. So we are asked to find the quantity that will maximize the profit and then the, determine the maximum profit. So here we need to find the function of profit first. And uh, profit is equal to revenue minus cost. So profit is P equals to revenue we substitute with Q square plus 40 Q minus cost. So cost is 3 Q square minus 400. Make sure when we substitute we put in a bracket because there's a negative sign here. Alright, so when we simplify Q square minus 3 Q square will give us negative 2 Q square. And 40 Q, uh, we don't have Q here, so we will copy 40 Q. And then negative times negative 400 will give us positive 400. So now we have the function of P. So from here, we differentiate P, we will get negative 4 Q plus 40. So equate negative 4 Q plus 40 with 0 in order to find the value of Q. So from here, uh, shift the 40 over the other side. So we have negative 4Q equals to negative 40. Or we can write as 4Q equals to 40. So from here, Q is equals to 40 divided by 4, which is equals to 10. Okay? Now we need to prove that this is a maximum. So what we need to do is to differentiate dp dq. So differentiate negative 4q will give us negative 4. Now since this is a negative, so negative means maximum. Okay? Hence the value of q that maximizes the profit is equals to 10 units from here. Okay? Now, when Q equals to 10, we are asked to find what is the maximum profit. So, we substitute Q equals to 10 into the profit function, which is negative 2Q square plus 40Q plus 400. So, substitute 10 into Q. So, we will get negative 2, 10 square plus 40, bracket 10 plus 400. So 10 square is equal to 100 times negative 2. The answer is negative 200. 40 times 10 is 400. And then 400 we copy again. So from here 400 plus 400 is equal to 800. And 800 minus 200, the answer is 600. So therefore the maximum profit is equal to 600 ringgit. Okay? So let's look at sample question number 3. The average cost function of a product is given by C bar. So C bar is, uh, denotes the average cost, which is 0.0001Q square minus 0.02Q plus 5 plus 5,000 over Q. So find the marginal cost. Okay. So how much is the marginal cost if 50 units of the product is produced? Okay. So what we need to do first is to convert the average cost to cost. All right? So the formula is cost is equal to average cost times quantity. So from here, we will take the function uh, average, average cost function and then multiply uh, by Q. All right? So from here, 0.0001Q square times Q will give us 0.0001Q to the power 3. And then 0.02Q times Q will be equal to 0.02Q square. And 5 times Q will give us 5Q. And 5,000 over Q times Q, we can cancel the Q. So remainder, 5,000. Okay, so this is the function of cost. So we are asked to find the marginal cost. So remember, marginal cost is equal to dc over dq. So we differentiate the function cost just now. We will get 0.0003q square minus 0.04q plus 5. Okay? So when q is equal to 50, then the marginal cost is obtained by substituting q equals to 50 into uh, the marginal cost function here. So we will get 0 0.0003 bracket, substitute Q with 50 square, minus 0 0.04 bracket 50 plus 5. 
So simplify. So 50 square is 2500 times 0 0.0003. The answer is 0 0.75. And 0 0.004 times 50. The answer is negative 2 plus 5. So 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. 3 plus 0 0.75. The answer is 3.75. Okay.